I'm going to do everything I can as a governor to set the table. You and I, we, one thing we agree on is government doesn't create jobs. So even when politicians might say, we might slip occasionally and say, well, I've created X number of jobs. We all know government doesn't create jobs. Business creates jobs. So what we're really saying is, how can we create the environment? How can we set the table for business to come? I recognize that as a mayor. I'm on the front lines of doing that. I deal with businesses regularly who say, I'm thinking about coming or I'm thinking about leaving. What can you do for me? So uh, it's about the environment that you set up. But we can only do so much. The reality is, if we're honest, we can only do so, so much as a mayor, as a governor. And the, the global environment, that global capital environment that I was talking about, that matters. And so if, if countries can get away with things that we can't, if they manipulate their currencies, you know, if they engage in protectionist policies that put them, you know, put us at a disadvantage, it's hard for a governor to fix that. The last plank of my economic plan, my Michigan Main Street agenda, is go to Washington and fight for fair trade, not free trade. And it's there not just as a rhetorical point, as a placeholder. Uh, I think we need to change our trade policy so that if our uh, trading competitors are, you know, taking advantage of us, that we protect, yes, that we move in and protect American jobs when they are unfair, when they're operating, when they're getting away with things that we're not. I think we should treat their products like they treat our products. Um, you know, I think that we should have environmental standards. I think it's wrong that a company can go to Mexico or go to China, engage in practices, labor practices and environmental practices that they wouldn't do here. So I think that's important. I, mean, I just want to get that out. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll do everything I can to lay out the red carpet, to set that table, to make an inviting tax environment. You know, clean up the MBT, get rid of that MBT surcharge that Andy Dillon helped put in place. Uh, so we need to have an environment. Yes, a tax tax policy is part of it. Education policy is part of it. Creating a pipeline of uh, of skilled trades is part of it. When I, if I'm serious about manufacturing, I have to be serious about voc ed. I have to be serious about community college, where people, you know, not everybody needs to get a four year degree in college. We had this notion for a while that everybody everybody has to go to college. Everybody should have a great opportunity to succeed. But some people are good with their hands, and and we need people like that.